Welcome, welcome to the uh, second annual Dirk Nowitzki Tennis Classic. Um, thanks to, uh, to all you guys for, for coming out and supporting this event. Uh, thanks to all the celebs. Uh, I say it all the time. They, we all get yanked in, in a million different directions, uh, but for them to, to make the time and, and come here and commit, and most of them, actually a lot of them coming from, from out of town, JJ just flew in on a red eye from California. So uh, no, it, it means a lot, it means a lot to this event. And you know, this is obviously a tennis event, but the, the big deal was last night. And you know, we're, we're, we're raising money for, for Hurricane Harvey victims. And uh, we had a great night last night, uh, raised a lot of money. So it was a complete success. So hopefully we can play some good tennis. And today is more about having fun interacting with fans. We are a sellout this year, uh, 450 uh, tickets sold, so we're excited about that. Should have a great atmosphere, great weather, so thanks for coming. Thanks to all the sponsors, obviously, every year. They're, they're, they're amazing, and this couldn't happen without them. So anyways, is there any questions? Yeah, Dirk, uh, oh. let's get to the tennis. Very important stuff. Could you give us some scouting reports on a couple? Just give us like two or three guys that you're really worried about because you don't think their game is up to this level? Actually, I got to say, so last year, my guy Harrison, I love him, but he was, he was struggling to keep up a little bit. So he got a little mad when he didn't get the invite back this year. <laughs> I was like, hey, Harrison, I wasn't impressed with, uh, with what you showed last year. So uh, I think this year we have an amazing, uh, amazing crew of, of, of great players and it should be, uh, should be actually look like Look almost like tennis, not like last year. All right. Uh, let's start with uh, Mike Madonna here. Mike, uh, you've accomplished so much in the world of sports, but you pulled me aside and told me that you wanted this more than anything you've ever wanted professionally. <laughs> Why is this so important that. to you today? Uh, I don't remember that. But uh, obviously for Dirk, uh, we've known each other for, I don't know, 20-plus years and uh, kind of grew up together in Dallas, and we did a lot of things, accomplished a lot of great things and great memories in this town, and uh, we, uh, we've tried to always give back to the city, and uh, Dirk's been an amazing ambassador for this town and for the, the Mavericks and for uh, basketball worldwide. So anytime he calls and uh, we're available, we, uh, we're uh, quick to help out, and uh, it's always a fun time. We have a, a great time together. I love being around these, him and these guys. So. It's always uh, turns out to be a great event. If, I, if we could go to Andy Roddick now, the MVP of Dirk's celebrity baseball game. Uh, do you also play a little tennis? I mean, I saw you win the MVP of the baseball game, but now you're going to switch over, play some tennis. What does this mean to you to switch over from baseball to tennis? I think all it says is that I take these things a little more seriously than I should. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it's it's nice. I, did, I I was trying to figure out uh, you know, the first play I think in the baseball game. The shift was on, and I didn't realize it. And Michael Young was not pleased with me when we got back to the dugout. So here I know the spacing a little bit better. Uh, that's awesome. A uh, question for Tommy Haas. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, it's fantastic to have you out here. Uh, you got a great relationship with Dirk, but uh, Dirk's been talking some trash about your tennis game. What does that mean to you? Yeah, well, I've been giving him some trash talk about his basketball game lately, and I'm really looking forward to see... To see what he's got this year, you know, we're similar in age as well and uh, kind of at the end of our careers. But uh, no, it's, uh, it's great to be a part of it here, you know, seeing so many familiar faces for a good cause. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it last year, but I've heard, uh, I see the pressure is on. So I'm, uh, I can't wait to get uh, on the practice court, hit a few balls and, uh, and mentally get ready. Now, last night at the fundraiser, somebody was mentioning uh, some, somebody had the ability to win a round with you with your shirt off. Was, did, anybody, did that go? Did anybody sell that last night? I don't know. We have to ask. I have to find out. Uh, I, I hope it didn't go through. Um, but uh, if it did, you know, hey, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. That's awesome. Uh, Owen Wilson, uh, it's so fantastic to have you out here. And obviously you have a great relationship with, with Ben Stiller. Uh, what does it mean to you to be a part of this? And uh, love to hear about your tennis game. Well, um, uh, yeah, Ben was here last year and said he had a great time. And I was excited when Dirk called and uh, invited me to participate, and um, I'm looking forward to playing. Um, I look at these guys, and I don't see how I lose today, to be honest. <laughs> no, I could be this year's Harrison, it sounds like. I might not be getting the invite next year. 
but I have been working on my just out call, so you guys are going to be hearing that. Could have gone either way, but I saw it out. <laughs> All right, I'd like to ask a question to Michael Russell, uh, obviously from Houston, and you, you heard that uh, Dirk was donating proceeds uh, to victims of Hurricane Harvey, and obviously that's important to you. And um, so can you just tell us a little bit about your involvement here and how important this is to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, when I heard from Dirk about coming up and, and helping out, it's, it's really special. Houston's been through a lot. I know a lot of people, you know, you watch on TV and, and the catastrophe. So to be able to, last night, amazing job of everybody getting together and raising the funds and then Mark Cuban joining in, you know, up to $2 million to help out. You know, it's really special for so many families that have been hurt by, by Harvey. So to come out and have some fun with all these guys and, and legends and to put on a show for you guys, it's a lot of fun and a great cause. How's it to uh, see your doubles partner, Donald Young, again? Well, you got to ask him. Are we still partners? I don't know. <laughs> Donald? It's a good question. Yeah, we're, we're definitely partners, it's always. Okay. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Donald, uh, what, Donald, we'll jump in with you here. What are you most excited about, about being a part of this? Well, for me, it was a no-brainer. Dirk's one of my favorite players, so uh, to get the invite was uh, a must-do. And to do it for a uh, special cause and something important and uh, close to a lot of people's hearts, it was a no-brainer for me. So I'm just glad to be here with a bunch of these other guys and have fun playing tennis. J.J. Uh, Berea is here as well. And J.J., uh, on our show the other day, Dirk, Dirk jumped on, and we were, I asked him, because he likes to call people burgers if he thinks he can beat them or if he's, he as an insult. And so I said... Is JJ a burger on the tennis court? And he said, no, he's a, he, he said he is a burger, but he's actually good at tennis. So he gave you love in tennis, but he called you a burger in the process. How many times over your career has Dirk called you a burger? Uh, for me, not, not. He's not even the burger. Yeah, he's a yeah. little slider. He's a mini. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little turkey slider. Yeah, but he don't call me a burger because he... The other guys, yeah, but me on maybe like five in like ten years, so that's not bad. Yeah. But in tennis, he got, he got problems with me uh, a couple years ago. Now is, I think he's, he's a little bit better now. So, uh, but he, he, you guys do enjoy playing tennis with each other. Who, I mean, who's better? I think he got me by a little bit. Uh, he plays more than me. He got a tennis court at the house. I don't, I don't have a tennis court at the house. So he's kind of cheating? Yeah, yeah. And uh, No, but he's, uh, I think he practices a little bit more. All right, Mark Knowles is here as well. Mark, thank you so much for being here. Uh, what are you looking to, uh, to do today? What are you most excited about? Uh, probably looking most forward to watching Andy. Andy brings incredible intensity to the court every time, like he said, you know, whether it's baseball, golf, tennis. I mean, I said last night at the dinner, you know, for those AMs that are playing for the first time, be ready because he's going to come out strong. Um, but, no, I think overall with, with legends of all the sports up here, tennis, golf, basketball, such a great cause uh, with Jess and Dirk do for the foundation and, you know, to give to deserving people, especially from Hurricane Harvey. It's just a real pleasure to be part of such a great event. And Benjamin Becker, uh, you know, saw you in the hallways. Dirk was yelling at you about something about a backhand serve. I don't know what that was, but how, how high are tensions right now as you guys all prepare to battle? Yeah, pretty high. I'm ready to get warmed up. Uh, I'm also very excited to see Andy. Uh, hopefully we can beat him this year. That's my goal. And, uh, yeah, excited to get ready and uh, get it started. A lot of friendly, lot of friendly fire here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they always hate Everybody that. wants a shot at the title. <laughs> Would anybody... I mean, the guy's in the Hall of Fame now, so you, we're all hungry out here. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, before we get out of here, does anybody have any parting shots for any other players? I mean, tensions are high. You guys clearly hate each other. Is there anything else the audience needs to know? Any negativity spilling out before you hit the court? No. God, these guys, look at the tension up there. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. If you would stick around for a photograph, and uh, we're, that concludes this portion of the event.